in history. We have a man called Adolf Hitler. Many of you would agree. And history says or makes the claim that Adolf Hitler was one of the greatest, most wicked people that have ever walked the face of this planet. Not everybody agrees that Adolf Hitler was an evil person. In fact, I truly doubt if Adolf Hitler himself believed he was doing anything wrong. Adolf Hitler, in sincerity, believed he was doing something that was good and beneficial for the German people. Many or a great majority would disagree with that. And as the result of Adolf Hitler's belief, many people suffered. Many people were killed. Many people were targeted for destruction like black people were targeted in this nation. We don't like that comparison. And black people in this nation was targeted for destruction and genocide long before there was an Adolf Hitler. Again, another subject for another time. I want to respond to the President of the United <laughs> I was going to say snakes again. States of America. There's a church on every block in every little town in this nation. Many of you are happy to call yourselves Christians. But if you study Christianity or many of these religious belief systems, you will find that in your history, it was taken upon the leadership of the church, the leadership of these religious belief systems, that you began to go out into the countryside, in the towns, in the cities, and you force your religion on people. If they did not accept your religion, then you would outright kill them. Force them to believe in God. So we have many people today who believe in some kind of God, believe in some kind of spirituality because it was forced upon us because that's not natural for you for your brain to accept that which must be believed in, your brain only responds to reality. Or it makes coming to a reality that which is, is imagined inside your brain. It can make it a reality. At once it was something to believe in as part of, of an imagination. But the brain can cause the hands to bring into existence what was once believed in and imagined, bring it into a reality. And if this cannot be done, then we are considered insane. That's why you don't see people running around with pink elephants and other things of the imagination. It's a figment of the imagination. It's not real. And that which is not real cannot be brought into reality. It can only be believed in. These same religious believers, they took people and called them a witch. And they placed them on wood and burned them alive. Right here in this country. There are those who believe in gods. In these religions, they at one time they saw twin people, identical twins. They were cursed because surely there should be no people that look alike. So they considered that a curse. So you have Adolf Hitler, for an example, you have religious people. As an example, do you believe 
that they, in their heart, believed they was doing something wrong. They did not believe they were doing anything wrong. But their action was causing harm to other people. Their belief, their belief was causing harm to other people. When your belief causes harm to other people and they have done nothing to you, when your belief caused the destruction of animal life and the poisoning of the air, the water and the land, the destruction of this very planet, then there is a great problem. There is a great problem. The greatest problem is Adolf Hitler, the Christian, the religion, the Muslim, all of you believe you are right. That's why we sit where we sit right now because Everybody in their heart believes they are right. When I was incarcerated in a mental facility, they never proved I had any type of mental illness. They never proved that I committed any crime. But they held on to their lie. They did not want to admit to being wrong. So in their arrogance, they took it out on me and tried to force me to believe their lie. Not with kindness, but by threats. We will hold you the rest of your life unless you believe what we say. And what is sad is that they believe in their evil and in their heart they are they are actually doing something that's right they really believe this and you are wrong mind you they cannot prove a crime has been committed they cannot prove a mental illness exists but we're gonna do what we're gonna do to you anyway and although the evidence is overwhelming. They will hold on to the lie. So Adolf Hitler, I'm very sure somebody showed him the error in his ways, but he held on to what was wrong. The religious community, Muslims and Christians and Jews and all these people, they know that they are wrong in the, some of the things they do and how they think, but they don't care. They will rather hold on to their wrong and there is no apology. They will not admit error. So you live in a country I call the United Snakes of America because it has this type of mentality, knowing they are wrong. But it is better to hold on to that wrong. Because I want to be viewed as right. And if you don't believe me, I will kill you. If you don't believe me, I'll lock you away the rest of your life. Oh, you will believe me. I will burn you at the stake. Mm, mm, mm. Now, President Obama says, that this nation for the past 70 years has been the anchor of global security. Who asked you to be the anchor of global security? And within that 70 years, what makes you qualify to be the anchor of global security? What were you doing to your own people within that 70 years? Within the last 70 years, were you not spraying black people with water, with uh, fire hoses? Within the last 70 years, have not you lynched black people wholesale, raped us, 
placed us in jail, discriminated against us, all kinds of evil, but you qualify to be the global security of the world? Who asked you to lead? I don't remember no country saying, I think that the United Snakes <laughs> should lead the world. You lead the world because of your arms. When you look at the budget of the United Snakes of America, you will see that the majority of the budget is allocated to weapons of mass destruction. The military. We're going to force our will on you. We are going to anchor global security, secure the world whether you like it or not. And we're doing it by force. Because nobody asked us to lead. So you have a corrupt country, a nation, that has become insane and has been insane in, since its inception. President Obama tries to, and he does not even show emotion. He does not even, you can tell he does not even believe what he's saying. There's no compassion. There's no real feeling coming out of this man. It's all political. Has nothing to do, to do with Democratic or Republican. It's something that you cannot see. The puppets, their strings are being pulled, and many of you already know this. How do we know, President Obama, that this chemical attack was not staged? It was not manufactured. We don't know this. Where is your proof? Show us that you, this government, did not stage that. It's possible because we know that the United States government has a track record of staging things, making things look like something they were not. We know this. There is an old saying that you can't trust a lawyer. Many of your lawmakers are actual lawyers. And it is sad when you cannot trust the people that control and are behind the law, behind your government. They cannot be trusted. I was watching one of the interviews on CNN with, with this doctor called uh, Sanjay Gupta, something like that. I think that's his name. And he was trying to interview the doctors that were treating these victims of this gas. They would not, none of these, the doctors that were treating these, these victims, they would not say how they were being treated or anything in relation. They were scared. Why would a doctor be afraid to speak before the world and tell the world how what this person is suffering from and how they were being treated? They are silent. Why is this? Could it be because the doctors know that this, this so-called gas was probably not a gas manufactured by government? That it's some kind of gas that was put together maybe by some people who were who really weren't that experienced. Maybe they know that the gas came from a people that was given a gas by the United States of America. Is that possible? And they are scared to talk. There is no proof. That this gas came from the Syrian government. There is no proof that the gas came from 